Hi everybody, this is part four of four of our Glogster series and what we're going to look at in this video is how to work with uh, specifically video and then some other special effects here. So we've talked in previous examples about how to work with vector illustrations, how to import your own graphics like this TV, uh, and then how to import sound and to work with some of those settings. Uh, now with video settings, very much like sound, you can grab uh, anything off of your computer using upload. You can grab any links like YouTube links and drop those in here and click add to your files. And what that will do is scan those links and convert any files it's got uh, the ability to convert. And then you can surround it with a player and click use or you could grab something from your webcam, whatever you might need to, uh, to add to your blog. What you'll notice is that same thing with images and sound is Blogster is assuming that you want to add a couple of videos at the same time you have this window open so it doesn't automatically close the window when you click use it. You actually need to manually close the, the use it window and then you can manipulate your object here, your video, rotate it, uh, add any kind of layering that you might need to layer uh, behind your different objects in your composition and then click away to see how that's going to look. Um, very similar to audio, if you click on it and click edit, you have some shadowing effects that you can add to it here, coloring, uh, and then also some basic setup media options like autoplay or default volume. So then you click OK and then click away from your video to, uh, to manipulate it there. The other thing that you might decide to use, especially if you have, uh, have students that are working with blogs for um, for uh, biograph or biographical reports or uh, anything like that where, where they would need to add a bibliography of text what you might decide to do is add a text block and have them resize the text block and use that as uh, as a source for a bibliography page. In that text block you could also add any links to specific resources that you might need by simply by typing the link. So you could delete the default text here and you could put in link to resource. And then you can highlight the text Let's just say, for example, we click link, and the link that I have on my clipboard is to that YouTube video. But the same thing applies to any URL, and then you can click OK. Click OK here, and then when you go to preview your blog, what you'll see is that you're in preview mode, and when you hover over any of the links, what that will do is actually bring you up to YouTube and bring you up to that particular video that you link to. Everybody, welcome back. And fine, that's me again. Okay, so that's an easy and quick way to add links. One uh, interesting note here on links, if I can get back to that uh, editing view. One quick note here on links. It might be an interesting thing too for some of you who are creating multiple page logs or student logs on, um, on a particular project, is that you might decide to use a graphic like this, like the star or like you know some other uh, kind of highlighter graphic and use that as a link to something else. And when you click OK, what you can actually do is click the link button and add a URL to a symbol. And what you could do there is add a link to, you know, obviously, the video. But with every single blog that you create, you also have a private URL specifically for that particular blog. And so what you could have your students do is find each other's blogs and link to each other. Or you as the teacher could set up one default classroom you know, project landing page that people could then link to other student blogs from. So that's the basic idea behind Glogster. Check it out as a new in interactive and uh, creative way for students to have an alternative to PowerPoint, but then also to uh, bring out their true creativity using some real slick web 2.0 tools. Check it out, glogster.com or edu.glogster.com, and more tutorials to come or questions being answered at trendingeducation.com as well. See you next time. Thanks.